Hey, Tai here. So welcome to the Viatech channel. Here we're back with the Oculus Quest 2 because one of the biggest downfalls that we talked about during my review that if you didn't check out already, it's gonna be over here, was actually the comfort because the strap included in the box is not that comfortable for long gaming sessions. We already talked about it a little, but here we are with the Oculus Quest 2 Elite Strap. Is it worth it? Should you actually consider? Well, I think that the title was pretty much self-explanatory, but Let's get into it. Just a little reminder before to start, we're running a giveaway for the Oculus Quest 2 if you arrive to 50K. So like, share, subscribe, but of course, enjoy this video. Let's get into it. Now, it's well known and stated by pretty much every reviewer that the strap with which the Oculus Quest 2 comes with is not that great. And even Oculus knew that because they came up with two different options to actually solve the problem they actually created to keep the price of the headset lower at 299. So they came up with two different straps. The lead strap that is gonna go for $49, and that's the one that we have over here, and the lead strap with the battery pack inside plus the carrying case that is gonna go for $129. Now, this is the box that you're gonna receive. It's the one that I received in my review kit. It's a pretty big box, and this side you're gonna find the strap itself and the instructions. Now, uh, to put it on, it's pretty easy. You just have to unsnap the two parts on this side and insert the new one. Also, of course, changing the top strap, and for that, you're gonna have to remove the face cushion. Don't worry, you're not gonna break anything. It's pretty easy, it's just gonna snap out and snap in in a matter of seconds. So, changing is super easy, and here we are with the lead strap for the Oculus Quest 2. Now, I really like this design, it kind of feels premium uh, because it has the same kind of plastic and the same kind of texture of the Quest 2, so it really feels like part of it is an arch strap with a dial on the back to open it and close it, and there's no gravity part in the back, that's how I call it at least, with this flexible silicon that is gonna cap your crane. The good thing about it is that being silicon, being flexible, it's gonna adapt to every crane, every different head shape. Now, I have to say that I didn't want to go back to the original strap anymore, but I actually had to go back because I wanted to be informed for my review. Yeah, I suffered for you. This is, I'm gonna say it right away, and actually also stated in the title, this is a must-have accessory for the Oculus Quest 2. It makes the comfort so much better and makes possible to have long gaming sessions instead with the original strap, like uh, going over an hour started to hurt pretty bad. That's because the 10% less in weight helps a lot, but yeah, it's still not enough to actually use a regular strap and uh, we're gonna have to wait for the Ready Player One uh, headsets for that. And overall, this looks better, it's comfy, so yeah, it's of course a pass. Now, I don't have the second option with the battery extension uh, with me over here. We'll try to grab it for you guys, but overall, I think that it's gonna be even better, even if you don't use the battery for a better balance of the weight because that's a very important thing when using VR headsets. So well, if you're willing to spend 129, probably is a good option over there. Also because the battery, they said that expanded for other two hours. So having two hours with the Oculus Quest and two hours with the battery pack will mean that you have four hours of gameplay session with the headset that looks still pretty sick. Now, a weird thing that they didn't actually consider and I really don't understand is the fact there's no audio over here. So you're still using the audio integrated in the Oculus Quest 2. So I really wanted to find a solution. This is a little bonus for you because I actually use the Bionic headphones for the PSVR. They work pretty well over here and the white is pretty much the same. So they look pretty sick together. Now they're not the best sounding headphones in the world, but well, they look pretty good. So that's something. But yeah, should you consider it? Is it worth it? Yes, absolutely yes. At the end of the day, if you get this plus the Oculus Quest 2, it's still less than the original Oculus Quest 1. And you may remember how many mods we did for the first Oculus Quest. So uh, yes, it's absolutely something that you should consider. And again, it's the must have accessory. This one or the one with the battery, this is already comfy. And the other one is gonna be even more comfy probably because I had a better balance. And also you have two more hours of battery life. But one thing is sure, I will never go back to the thing over here. But anyway, guys, every link is gonna be in the description below. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you did like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for all of VR tech. 
And if you really love the channel, the join button down there and also the Patreon in the description below that really helps to support over here. We also have the t-shirt sticker and the mask, the 2020 item number one. Tomorrow we're gonna see a comparison with the original Oculus Quest, so stay tuned for that because it's gonna be very interesting. Should you upgrade it? Well, we're gonna reply to it tomorrow. And uh, yeah, many video schedules, also the True the Lenses next week. So stay tuned and uh, click the bell button. Again, like, dislike, subscribe. See you guys next video. Thanks for watching.